Hello, Goal. Hi. How are you doing? Um, first of all, congratulations um, on this movie. Um, it's out. Um, okay, I saw it yesterday. I know it's out in a couple of days. Um, congratulations, US Stella. Um, gave an applaudable performance. <laughs> right. So how how did you prepare for your role? Well, we, of course, we prepared uh, physically because we had to prepare physically because it's a very physical movie. We had uh, trainings uh, starting two months before the shooting, like athletes, we were working eight, nine hours a day, learning all kinds of uh, art martial, like um, fights, jiu-jitsu, kung fu, whatever you can imagine, learning to fight with um, knives, guns, everything you can imagine. Um, and of course, I would say, I think working with stunt people made us also prepare mentally because it's such a demanding project on physical level, also emotional level, that you need to prepare mentally. So um, I would say the, the gateway through the preparation was the body work and then that body work somehow prepared us also emotionally and mentally to be able to hold on for six months. All right, awesome. So how was it like working with Chris on set? Were there any memorable moments you want to share? This is a, Chris is an incredible human being, first of all. He's an incredible man, he's an incredible actor, very generous. He's unlike most of the actors I've ever worked with. He is very present on set. He's one of the very rare actors that he's not on his phone between the shots. I'm one of the actors that I just take refuge in my phone between every take, but uh, as if like you need this bubble to go go to and disconnect, but he's standing there present. Um, he's the first person to realize if you're not feeling well and he comes to you and say, what's wrong? What What's going on? He's present for everybody on set. It's unbelievable and extremely generous, I would say. It's, um, it's really a pleasure to work with him and know him. And as a friend, he's incredible. Awesome, awesome. So let's talk about your character, yeah? What's your favorite thing about your character, Nick? Well, my favorite thing about her, I think it's, um, she's uh, very strong and very determined at the same time that she's also fearless, uh, villain and ruthless and she can kill very easily. She's also a woman. Uh, she doesn't look like men, but she's, um, like they say badass. I, I, I always ask them why they say only women are badass and not men badass. But yeah, it's something in this world that we call women when they are a badass. So she is that badass, but uh, she's still a woman. And uh, there is a mystery about her and there's a mystery about her relation with Rake. Uh, we don't know really how and why they are so loyal uh, towards each other with no um, attraction, love attraction between them. So this is all, it's all we don't know about her that I love the most about her. Mm. Mm. I was going to ask, you know, the dynamic between Nick's relationship with Tyler and, you know, how would you, and how you would describe this relationship and how it evolved throughout the film? Well, it's one of the very rare, um, relations in the history of cinema of two people fighting together for a cause that they are, don't have any love interest for each other. They are buddies, they are humans, they are friends, they are, but they're ready to die for one another. Uh, you rarely see that between men and women in the history of cinema. You don't have that, like, uh, like um, that kind of fusion of two characters that are not in love with each other. So what is that and where is it coming from? It's something to explore. It's a mystery to me. Maybe I have some ideas because we have been talking about it so much during the shooting, but um, it's incredible that you see that both of them, even she's ready to, I mean, she lost her brother for him and this mission, but she's still there ready to die for him too. It's. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. I think it's a very unique relation we have never seen, very rarely seen in cinema. Cinema, that's right. So for a couple of seconds, um, what's your least favorite thing about your character, Nick? <laughs> 
My least favorite thing about her. Ooh. I don't have anything I don't like about her. <laughs> She's perfect. No, no, no. I think, um, I think maybe the fact that she, I don't know, to be honest, if I say something, it's not real because I didn't have anything, uh, the least favorite thing about her. It's probably, she's quite vulnerable when it comes to these missions to human relations is that the, the love she has for Rake um, and for her brother, basically those things can surpass her logic because she is maybe that it's not that womanhood in her but i think when it comes to human stuff she can be quite uh, vulnerable and she can make mistakes in some missions even though she she's kind of a professional and yeah maybe it's that that uh, maybe i would have liked her to be more a robot but then it would take away her humanity so I would say there's not much I don't like about her. I defend her fully. Thank, thank you so much, Gore, for your thank time. You. That's my time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.